Please watch the video in high quality. This video provides a C-sharp script that changes the size of the map automatically based on the distance from the camera and real-world measurement. So if I change the camera position by changing to from 20 to 200, for example, you notice that the map scales uh, change and it includes more size. And if I change that to, say, 800, and the scale will change as well. The video also show how to scale the map box map so that every one unit in unity uh, would be equal to one meter in real world. It calculates the map width and height in meters based on the size of a plane that fills and matches the game view in unity. Then translate the width and height to uh, the bounding box parameters of Mapbox uh, static image API to define the map borders using C sharp. The result is a map where each one unit in unity would equal one meter in real world. Uh, this is useful in applications with architectural and real life implication where the scale uh, to the real world matters. Mapbox offers a free tier for each product, which allow you to use the ABI for free within limited requests per month. I uh, will leave a link in the description to the pricing, and you could see, for example, we will use the static image ABI, which allow 50,000 requests free per month. And so if you don't have an account, uh, you could uh, click on Get Started and enter your credentials and create an account. Once you created an account, log into your account and click create a token and give the token name and uh, click create token. And once that is done, you will need that token to uh, be able to make the request to the ABI later. So to start in Unity Editor, I'll create, right click, create 3D object of type plane. And I'll just gonna call it map and leave the default settings. And then uh, I will go to the main camera so that we could uh, look from the top view at the map. Uh, I'll just change the, uh, the Z to be zero and the Y to be 20 and change the rotation of on the X to be 90 and on the Y so that we could look down from top view at the plane. Then in the assets, I'll create a new folder. We'll call it scripts and inside this folder I'll create a new C sharp script we'll call it map and once that script is created I'll just drag it into the new plane game object which is called map and just click on the map to make sure the script is there and then double click on the uh, script to open it in Visual Studio Inside the script, I added a number of uh, uh, lines. I'll go through roughly. So I'll add it a new uh, a number of uh, name spaces that I'm gonna use. Uh, and then uh, I had a number of public variables. The first is the access token we just created in the account. You'll need to add that later for the map to load. And then we have uh, the public uh, sent uh, uh, the longitude and latitude of the center point for your map the desired map. I put it as a default to be in the town hall in Sydney, but you could change that to the uh, area that you need. And then we'll have uh, another public variable of type enum to set the uh, the style uh, of the map. So we could choose light, dark, street, outdoor, satellite, and satellite streets. And then the resolution of the map as well. And then I have a number of uh, private variables to you know set the map, including the bounding box, which is defined the outdoor or border of the map, and it's in in a format that the first element is the longitude of the minimum or the bottom left corner of the map and then the latitude of that button uh, left corner and then log the longitude and latitude of the top right uh, corner. So this is the bottom left corner and this is the top right corner or this is the minimum and this is the upper or maximum corner. So back to the code, uh, um, we uh, 
uh, here we have the uh, style in a string so that we convert the style we have here into a string uh, um, that is recognizable by the uh, uh, Mapbox um, API. And then we have the UR, uh, URL that holds the uh, request for the Mapbox API. And these two variables just so, so that we will check or uh, govern the update when we need to update the map and reset the map. We'll see that later. And then the materials that would have uh, the material variable that would have the texture and will be assigned to the plane to hold the uh, map as a texture. And then we'll have the screen resolution that will help us determine when the resolution or the proportion of the screen change so we could update the map accordingly. Similarly, we'll get the map width in meter and uh, the map, map height in meter as well so that we have that uh, so that each unit in unity will, will, will equal to uh, one meter in real life. And then we have two variables to define the map width and height in pixels. And these should be an integer value between 1 and maximum 1,280. And uh, the plane to camera distance so that we could capture or measure how what is the distance between the plane that will hold the texture of the uh, map and the camera. So whenever the camera change, the scale of the uh, map will change accordingly. And we'll have a number of variables. It's uh, it's kind of a replicate with change in the name of the public variables we have. So later we could use them to keep it track. Whenever the user change the public uh, variable, then uh, we, we could uh, detect that and then update the map accordingly. So at the start, we'll get a measure the plane to camera distance or the map to camera distance, and then measure the screen resolution using the screen width and height. And then we call a function which match the plane to screen size. And that function is over here. And what it does, uh, it gets the, uh, the the scale of the plane, uh, uh, sorry, the plane height scale because uh, using the uh, plane to camera distance variable that we uh, gonna measure at the beginning of the uh, start method over here. And that's just using that, uh, get the distance between the camera and the plane. And based on that, we gonna get the plane height scale and the plane width scale. And then using, because this uh, script will be attached or is attached to the plane game object. So the game object would be plane. We change its scales accordingly based on these two variables. And uh, yeah, and 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 the, the, the 10 number here is because each, um, the, the, the plane in Unity by default is 10 units. Each scale, one scale is 10 units. So we divide that by 10 to get the uh, units of the plane uh, accordingly. And then we'll measure map width and uh, height because uh, uh, we, we multiply the uh, width is the plane and width the scale and height scale by 10 and that's 10 because each as we, as i said is each unity uh, unit is uh, 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 if we assume it should be equal one meter in real world then th because the default plane is 10 unit in the x and z for each one scale so we have to multiply that by 10 and then we uh, set the map width and height in pixels so it will be a proportionate to the uh, uh, to the screen size or the view size and because we know so if the camera aspect ratio is bigger than one meaning the width is bigger than the height of the screen or view then we will assign the maximum view to the map width in pixel which is one the maximum possible uh, value is 1280 and proportionally we uh, uh, assign a value to the height and but if the height is bigger uh, then we will uh, the height of the map in pixel would be the maximum value 1280 and the width would be a uh, 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 size proportionally so now we done with this method uh, that's in the start and then we will uh, see um, uh, if the uh, plane game object doesn't have mesh renderer, we assign a mesh renderer to it because we're going to use this component to add material and texture to that plane. Uh, 
So here we getting assigned its material and the material with shader of type unlit texture. That's because so we could avoid the the map to have uh, lighting and have weird uh, Im impact on the map. Then we start a coroutine, which is called get map box. It's over here. What it does, it measure the bounding box, which it's it's the uh, top. Uh, so it has four uh, elements, and the first and second elements uh, of it would be the longitude and latitude of this corner, and the third and fourth element would be lo longitude and latitude of this corner. And uh, so uh, this get measured using uh, this uh, method, which is called get rect min max longitude. So what you need to pass it is the center longitude and center latitude, which have in uh, public variables over here. And the user will need to enter. So for the center of the map, desired map, and then the map width in meter and map height in meter. And these we uh, just measured or calculated earlier using this match plane to screen size method that we went uh, through. So this uh, method would return uh, the map bounding box after calling this uh, method, which is get point long lat. Uh, and and this, uh, this, this method is based on a stack overflow answer by David M. And this is the, uh, the link to that answer uh, to that answer. Okay, so after returning the bounding box using these two methods, we uh, co uh, cons or create the URL, which it is it's a string has a default st uh, 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 map box ABI string call. And within it, we will integrate the uh, variables we had so far, which is the style, the bounding box, all four elements, and the map width in pixel, map height in pixel, and the access token. And then we create Unity web request called www and using the URL and we, we yield the return of that request by sending the web request. And we'll check if the result has an issue, it's not successful, then we de debug the issue and we could reset to the previous working status because uh, these, as I mentioned, these variables uh, track the latest value of these public variables. So we just reset them to the latest successful value. And otherwise, if the uh, request work or uh, it's successful, we game object is the blank, get its, we get its component of mesh renderer and its material and set its texture to our uh, map box uh, uh, request. And we call the download handler and its texture. So the texture of the map box API request would be the texture of the material of the plane. And then these are the uh, variables that keep track on of our public variables. So we update them here. And these are to, to govern when we need to update and or not update the map, these two variables. Okay, so that get map uh, method we gone through it over here and then in the update we uh, just need to check whether the screen resolution change or the screen width and height will change or the plane to camera distance in other words if the camera moves uh, from the plane if if that change then we will update these variables that keep a track of the camera distance and the resolution or width and height and then we will call the match plane to screen size again and we start the coroutine again to call the uh, map uh, re request again and update the map. Uh, also, if the uh, one of the public variables change, uh, in other words, if the user change the uh, access token or if change the style of the map or the longitude and latitude of the center, uh, then um, or the resolution of the map, then the map would update automatically. So yeah, that's the whole script. I'll 
go through it uh, just from top to bottom just quickly so you could see or write it if needed so this is the very top of it and i'll go down and then i'll move all the way down to the very end of the script uh, over here and all the way to the end of it that's if you need to write it down you probably will okay so if I save the script and go back to the unity editor I'll select the map because the script is attached to it and going to the, our public variable you will see that the access token is empty and remember when we created an account and created a token now it's time to go to that uh, token copy it and paste it here so I'll just do that now so I've pa pasted my token over here and so uh, now if I click uh, if I click play, you will notice that the map uh, is here now uh, and I could just change the aspect or the resolution to full HD to make it clearer. And then the user could change the center longitude and latitude to the place you desire. And you enter your access token here and you could later add uh, whether you want a satellite or uh, uh, you know any, any style of the map and the resolution and now if I select the camera and try to zoom out in other words change the position Y to say 200 so you see that the map is became bigger and is scaled accordingly uh, so the result of that each unit in unity now equal to one meter of uh, in in the real world and whenever you um, uh, zoom in and zoom out the scale will change accordingly and the, the size of the map you will the, the more we zoom out move away the more map will be included with this scale still each unit in unity would be one meter in real world so this is great for architectural or and other applications or games when it is really important to have a reference or to use the um, the, the real world coordinates so yeah that's it this is how we could scale map to real world dimension and camera zoom using uh, c sharp and Mapbox api in unity thank you Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.